Welcome back to producing voiceovers in Pro Tools. In this chapter, we're going to talk about the Pro Tools transport, timeline, and other options like track grouping, showing and hiding tracks, memory markers, and regions list. So let's get started by making a new Pro Tools session. I'll use my 8-channel film template that I've used before. And we'll just call this timeline. First thing we'll do to demonstrate is to drag a 1K tone out of the bin, like that. And the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is how to make a track larger or smaller with the keyboard command. Control Mac or Start PC and the up and down arrow keys will make the track larger or smaller. If I'm on this track, it'll make that track larger or smaller. Let's talk now about this little guy here, Insertion Files Playback. We mentioned that a little bit in a previous chapter. And to demonstrate that, I'll show you a small region here of this 1K test tone. Okay, so there's our 1K test tone, and you'll notice that it just normally <laughs> plays from start to end, just like any region would play. If I turn Insertion Follows Playback on, watch what happens. When it gets to the end of that region, it stops, and the insertion followed the playback. It stopped where the playback stopped. If I hit play again, it stops there. We demonstrated this a little bit in a previous chapter. And when we get into editing and mixing a little bit later on, you'll see why it's important to keep insertion follows playback turned off. Okay, let's delete that 1K tone from our track there. And I'm going to open up my track list over here on the left side of my edit window. And we're going to show you a few things about our track list. First of all, you'll notice that whatever track I have selected over here, it follows that selection over in our track list. If I have multiple tracks selected, it'll follow that as well. In a voiceover session where you have lots of tracks, it might be necessary to hide the ones you're not working on so you can have some more room on your screen. By clicking right here, you can hide and show your tracks. Keep in mind that when you have a track hidden, it's still active unless you've muted it or made it inactive. And if you mute a track and the automation turns the mute back on, it'll still play even if it's hidden. So be careful with your hidden tracks. And also, if you hold the Option key down for Mac or the Alt key PC and click here, it'll show or hide all the tracks. So remember, the Option key Mac or the Alt key PC is the All Modifier key. So by holding it down and clicking on a Show and Hide Track button, you will show or hide all the tracks. You can also get a track list pop-up menu, similar to the track list pull-down at the top of the screen, by holding the Control key Mac or Start key PC and clicking on the Tracks Show and Hide button. This has a lot of features that are going to come in quite handy. You can now hide a track and make it inactive at the same time, or you can make a track active or inactive without having to show it. If I hide that track, I can now make it inactive without having to show it, just by holding down the Control key, Mac, or Start key PC and clicking here. Make that track inactive, or make it active again. This is a huge advancement for Pro Tools. Next, we'll talk about groups. You'll notice that this session has a bunch of groups in it. We'll talk about the importance of grouping when we start talking about editing and mixing. The keyboard shortcut to suspend the groups or to make them inactive is Shift-Command-G Mac or Shift-Control-G PC. Shift-Command-G Mac, Shift-Control-G PC makes the groups inactive or active. Inactive, active. You can also make a group inactive individually by clicking here. So that group's inactive now, and now it's active. So, since our dialog group is active, you'll see when I make a selection on one track in the group, it follows that selection on all tracks in the group. With that group inactive, the selection only follows the track I'm on. So, with our dialog group active, when we make a selection on one track, it follows the group. Same with the tracks in the VO group. You can also make a track selection by clicking here next to the groups. This is all going to come into play when we start editing and mixing later on. And you can also modify these groups by double-clicking right here. If I double-click to the left of the group, it'll bring up my Modify Group pop-up menu. 
I can change the name of the group. I can make it a mix only group, an edit only group, or a mix and edit group. And I can change all the parameters in the group if I need to. I could give it these attributes, which would mean mutes would now be grouped together, solos would now be grouped together, etc. If I wanted mutes not to be grouped together, I could do it there. If I click here, it shows me the tracks that are currently in the group, and I could add or subtract them by double clicking to cross them over. Or I could click there once and hit add. I could click there once and hit remove. So you can add or subtract the tracks that are in the group by doing it this way. And there are your attributes. And some of these other functions we'll talk about a little more in depth when we start getting into mixing and automation. Now, another handy feature here with the groups is you can show or hide these tracks. If I want to show only the tracks in the dialog group, I could do so by Control Mac or Start PC and click to the left of the group. If I wanted to show just these VO tracks, I could click there. If I wanted to show just my effects tracks, I could click there. You could also show or hide multiple groups of tracks by holding the Shift key and the Control key Mac or the Shift key and the Start key PC and then clicking on other groups. You could show them too. This comes in really handy when you've got a lot of tracks in a session and you just want to show the ones that you're working on. You could also hold Shift Control Mac or Shift Start PC and click next to the All group to show or hide all the tracks in the session. So I'm going to Control click next to my VO group to show just the tracks in the VO group. And we'll see that the size of the tracks follows the group, but the mutes do not. So in order to add the mutes to the group, we're going to double click next to our group and change its attributes. We'll add mutes to the attributes, and then we'll click OK. And now the mutes will follow. Same thing with solos. If I wanted these two tracks to solo together, I could double click on my group, and I could add solo to the attributes. Click OK. And now the solos will follow. Same things with all these functions. Record, input. Also, the automation mode for the tracks in this group will follow, and we'll talk a lot more about automation in a future chapter. And the last thing I want to talk about is how to make a new group. Let me show all my tracks here by control clicking on them. Let's say I want to have a group for all my dialog and VO tracks. I would first highlight the tracks that I want to be in the group. You can add or subtract the tracks that you want to be in the group by holding the command key Mac or control key PC and clicking on them. And once the tracks that you want to be in the group have been selected, you can hit the Command Key Mac or Control Key PC and G. Command G Mac, Control G PC is Create New Group. And that is once you have the tracks that you want to be in the group selected. Command G Mac, Control G PC. And here you could name this group, and we could call this All Dialog. And we have our attributes here just as normal. You could also click on the track button to add or subtract the tracks that are in the group. And I'll click OK. You'll see there's my new group. And all four of those tracks are in the group. And once again, all these features will come into play a lot more when we start talking about editing and mixing. OK, here's one more thing about our edit window that I want to show you. Our regions bin. A region bin has this pop-up menu at the top here, and it's got a lot of cool features. We'll talk about a few of these features that pertain to producing voiceovers. The first one here is our select option. It allows us to select all regions. It allows us to select unused regions, regions that are not used on a track or in the undo memory. And here's one of my favorites. Select unused audio except whole files. This is very helpful. Once you start editing, there are going to be a lot of auto-created regions that you don't really need, and you might want to get rid of them to clear up the clutter in your regions bin. Here's a little example to demonstrate this. Every time I separate a region, you'll notice that there's a sub-region in the regions list there. If I delete that from our track, all those still remain. If I select unused audio except whole files, it'll select all the unused regions in the session. 
and then I can clear them by clicking here. Now, I've just removed those regions from the session. The original file is still here because I selected unused audio except for whole files. Again, very powerful to clear up your session when you've got a lot of little auto-created regions. Another feature here is the timeline drop order option. The options are left to right and top to bottom. If you click on top to bottom, and if I select all, and I try to drag these out, it's going to put them on three different tracks because there's three different regions. If you try to drag 30 or 40 regions out and you don't have that many tracks, you won't be able to do that. So our other option is left to right. And this is very handy for producing voiceovers. If you've got a bunch of regions in your regions list here and you want to drag them out to edit and put them all in the same track, you can select timeline drop order left to right and then you can drag these all out here and it'll put them one after another right there on that track there's one two and three of them so if these were takes in a voiceover session they would all be lined up on this track and then i could get to them for easy editing that's about it for our timeline chapter stay tuned for our next chapter in producing voiceovers and pro tools